Hey everybody, it's Chris from <clears throat> Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is we're really behind, so we're gonna do a wedding. It's gonna be wonderfully white wedding work. Isn't that right? One, yeah, I think that's what we <laughs> said. <laughs> it's the fifth party of the day. We don't it's know. The fifth party of the day, and we've got uh, several more to go. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna make three table center pieces all at one time. Y'all can time me and see how how efficiently I am at it. So we're going to take all these leaves off our hydrangeas, which I probably should have done that before I got started. <clears throat> it's not helping your time. time, Mr. Chris. I know, but, you know, at least we can say, well, he's got a head start. Anyway, so there we go. And, and you have gonna... on your black, black, double black, uh, black, black shirt, double black, black jacket. Double black. We need all the help <clears throat> we can get. So then we're going to do some Dusty Miller. We've got some white stock. We've got some white Lucy Anthus. And then we've got... Oh, I forgot the name of this. Remember what this is? that the wedding bridal wreath? Mm -mm, no, not okay, one. I don't know. But it, it smells kind of like lemon. It has a little bit of a citrus base to it. Fred, if you're watching, chime in. And then we're going to do white. Oh, there's my other hydrangea right there, Christina. <laughs> we'll put it back we'll, behind. Uh, put it back the other one. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to clean that one and put that back there. And then we've got our white tulips. So let's get started. Are you ready to rumble? We have been ready, Mr. Uh, Chris. Uh -huh. <laughs> We have been ready. So, do these production style. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to go back a little bit so that they can see, see your that? other races. Okay. And they can see the ladder. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they have to see the ladder, too, huh? No. There's that. And let's go back and add our filler next. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, do you want to tell them what you've done so far today? Uh, we've made an Easter egg tree at the Capitol Hotel. So you've got to go back and put it on a little stand. We need to elevate it a little bit. You got, you got, it's all, all the way to the ground. It's, that's eggs are. So we've got to get it lifted a little bit. And then we uh, have worked on Woman of the Year. And we delivered a wedding first. Yeah. So, yeah, you, did, <coughs> you delivered a wedding first. Well, teamwork. We did. Yeah. So that. And we've got to go back and finish up Woman of the Year. And then we we're going to start on heart ball here for tomorrow. We did the linens this morning, so we'll do the yeah, we'll get all props, the props this afternoon. Props in place and get all tomorrow. the water in the bases. So we get all that finished up. Where's that? So how many stock do I have? Ooh, that does smell good. It does smell good, mm, doesn't it? I like that. Yeah, it has a little bit of a citrus base to it. So how are y'all doing this afternoon? Yeah, Would any of y'all like to come along and help? Yeah, help exactly. Us? No, oh, we're and, good. We've got a congratulations great to my friend uh, Jody won. Did she really? She won. She won. Awesome. She won. She texted me. She won. So yeah. Well, better be thinking of happy family. Yeah, I think you yeah, asked them to vote, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I think. How awesome. Yep, yeah, she won. So we're super excited for Miss Jody Duncan. Somebody asked if we could post the Easter egg tree on Facebook. Sure. We could ask. We can ask. They, I don't think they'll mind. I don't think they will. Well, we had talked about if it came in on Monday or Wednesday, which gonna, it didn't. We were going to do the happy from there. There. So. And we were thought about doing the happy today downtown on the other. But my main concern is that, you know, we're not real good about uh, <laughs> sound in situations where we travel. And I know being down, we're on the bottom floor tonight, tomorrow night at the convention center, which means it has two layers of concrete and steel above it. Well, they were so, also having problems down there today, the AV, Jonathan and them, the electricity kept going out. So, Well, even better. Yeah. So that'll <laughs> we make needed more, to stay away. That'll make for a fun night tomorrow night. Anyway. Someone said, what do you do with all of our free time? Uh, yeah, all mm -hmm. of our free yeah, time. Yeah, all of exactly. it. Have you had any April Fool's jokes today? <laughs> oh, I thought the whole day was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you do. Why did he come in? Oh, April Fool's. No. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we wish. Yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. Was April Fool's, wasn't it? What? Yesterday it felt like it was April Fool's. When they, she said, yeah, it "Oh, did. those palms aren't going to make are it you in." Uh, 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 Wait, what, what? Did it come in? What did we decide? What's the? No, it's here. Oh, it's here. That came in and first said, "Yeah, see, Miss Frida, she yeah, makes she us pulls, nervy, but yeah, she always pulls she through." She pulls through exactly. So anyway, Miss Bonnie says they have three parties this weekend. Oh, awesome! Good well, luck. Yeah, we <laughs> we feel you. Yeah, we feel you. We feel your pain. Hey, just be thankful for what we have. Uh, you right? know what? I was talking to the eventology girl yesterday when uh -huh. they were delivering for the party yesterday, and she uh -huh. said, "I'm so thankful that you know." She said, "Well, we're busy, but I'm so thankful uh -huh. that business has picked up." And I said, "Absolutely." Cool. 
six. I just don't quite understand why we all had to have it on the same week. Uh, same week? <laughs> well, the same month. Let's just say the same month because all of no, April is like this. This week, it was kind of like, why couldn't we have moved that one back? So anyway, I think you're going to be thinking that next week anymore, yeah, Mr. Chris. Absolutely. So there's that one. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit of Lusianthus to this to break it up. Numbers, there's that one. That'll go on this one, and this one will be for this one. I love white Lysianthus. It's it, becoming it more and more so of one of my favorites. Pretty this past couple of days, past couple of weeks, actually. I think, yeah, that's why I think I like it. has found a new source. And, and she's gotten amazing. You know, we had talked uh, about the scabiosa. Uh huh. And she has gotten beautiful scabiosa. The wedding I dropped off this morning, she really liked the scabiosa. Oh, good. Well, it was that really fun, different colors, too. So it was so pretty. Oh, I think we have a Dusty Miller hanging out. Mm. Is that a profile? Just trying to hang out. Uh, it's just hanging out there. Just hanging out there. Just hanging out there. Miss Julie is from Cape Cod, and she's been dealing with some medical issues, and she said... Um, you two are perfect for my mood. You both always bring happy and joy. Oh, good. Well, that's, you know what? If we can that's do that. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. I'm going to add one more of those. You know, I may go back, since I didn't bring them down there, add a few roses to this when we finish, too. Okay. Just a few. Just a few. You know, this is for one of my daughter's child. I mean, she grew up. She and Sydney grew up together from kindergarten. Really? Uh -huh, yeah. And so for me, and I know I'm, I'm probably the only person that does this, I still picture this child as being that, you know, eight-year-old or whatever, or however they were, you know, started. For some reason, I always feel like the kids are still the same age as they were, even though our kids are all grown now but, and having enough kids. But Somebody says they think that they thought that today was uh, – a replay or a taped video because you have on a sweatshirt. A sweatshirt? Oh, no, could be. No, just, just my pullover. No, it's not a taped video. This is live. Oh. You just wore a sweatshirt because it's oh, chilly here it, today. It is chilly here today. It's very <laughs> chilly. And I couldn't find my tip in her shirt. You couldn't find it? Mm -mm. Well, oh. I've got 10 around the store. I was going to say, well, yeah, I mean, you kind of have a corner. closet at your desk. Yeah, well, that or the walk around. Just walk around the store, you'll find my clothes everywhere, so... That and coffee cups, right? Miss Anastasia said that today her husband gave his two weeks notice of retirement. And everyone thought it was an April Fool's joke. Well, actually, we were setting up for one of the parties, and someone was on a conference call, and uh, they said, uh, somebody came on and said that she was moving jobs, and she said, I know it's a bad day because it's April Fool's, but, you know, I wanted to tell you all, blah, blah, blah. I bet a lot of people thought that, too. Oh, my goodness. Almost done with these three. Miss Tara says she remembers when Andrew and Sydney were babies. Oh, Tara Browning. <clears throat> you remember she too. She has a new name now, though, huh? I said you do too. I do too, but it goes by so fast, Christina. Oh my gosh, I remember when you were a baby. I was gonna say I remember when I was <laughs> on that cruise ship. <laughs> We had to worry about you going off off the thing. You had that bow. We gonna find you out you there in the water. You gonna find me out in the water. That's right. Oh, they used to be, her and her sister used to wear the cutest clothes, and they always had matching. The, the, I'm talking little Lord Aunt. The bigger the bow, the bigger the bow, the better the mom, right? That's so, right. Uh huh. Well, you know, but some people. My sister is having a little boy in September, and my parents are out of town this week. My mom's called me every day. Look at what I found today for Ralston. Oh, look at what oh, I found for goodness. Ralston. I'm like, oh, Mom. When he's going to need to get a whole nother room for these yeah, clothes exactly. you're getting for her. So this one is going to be for the buffet table or dining room table. It's actually a little, it's going to be a very intimate, Ugh. private service. It's going to be at someone's home. So this is an antique ba uh, basket. That Don't ask the price because it's not ours. Don't ask the price. Exactly. And it has a little insert in here, and it's. Like I that. can zoom in. Oh, okay, got it. But that would be so hard. It, I've tried it before to make it. The reason why my nose is running is because I ate corn at lunch. Anyway, so when I put that in there, it's so hard to work with. You could, like, if you were doing, like, all lilies or all one thing. If you're doing all these multiple stems and stuff, to me it's a, a little bit, it's not, life's too short, put it that way. Life's too short. Life we're just going to use foam. We're just going to use foam. 
and make the best of it. Right. Okay, that reminds me. Um, we text this morning, uh-huh. and we need to remind Jerry to get the candelabras. Oh, for tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yep. I wasn't on the equipment list Monday, so we just need to remind. He knows about it, though. Okay, good. Because he asked me which one. Well, he knows that I was sending a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just remember to talk. You got it. So I'm going to go ahead and base this out. Oh, I this love that. beautiful, soft foliage. I love this. And it does smell kind of like lemon. To me, it does at least. Kind of a citrus base to it. So pretty. Like that. So Everyone's it's saying it's a beautiful <coughs> container, and these are beautiful arrangements. It is a beautiful container. Like that. Let me spin this here. Miss Jenny said you are an amazing artist. Oh, you're very kind. So now let's go back and do our, oh, I forgot to do our water spur. So let's add our lark spur next. Maybe not that Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. All you gotta do is just tip that out though, like that, and you still have a stem left. So somebody asked, "What is that foliage that we put in?" You, we don't remember. Man, I don't remember. Oh, it just smells so good. I really hate not remembering, but I'm sure someone out there watching can let us know what it is. Just somebody asked, "Is it wax flower?" No, it's not, not wax, wax flower. flower. No. It has a very, very limited growing season for us. So that's going to use a little bit of Veronica. So we have hydrangeas, we have Veronica. Oh, Mama Jen's on. She's on late. Okay, someone said, I thought someone said what it was called. I think they told us the last time. I just forgot what it was. Everyone's saying they love, love all the white. I think all white is just beautiful. You can't go wrong with all white for sure. Well, you know, it's so seething on the eye because your eyes aren't having to decide where all the colors are. You know, we always like things to be somewhat symmetrical or, or not have to waste. It. Well, when you're looking at it, you want your eye to go calming, soothing, and if things are real bright colors and they're all splattered everywhere, your brain's trying to figure out what is going is on. Is it Bridal Bell Spirea? Nope. Not nope. that. That's Letco? We, not Lepto. Well, we don't know. We don't know. And so if you're using Lusianthus like this, Sometimes you probably want to go in and pop one of these out because if not, it gets to me too heavy up in the top. You can spread that out and put it here on the bottom. Someone asked Genestra, not Genestra. It looks like a Genestra, but it's not. It's, it's um, a really citrusy base to it. We'll know on Monday and we'll tell you about it. But we'll forget by then too. Well, that's probably true, but I'll try to remember. <laughs> there. Oh, those Lysianthus are beautiful. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. I'm going to give everyone a close-up of how pretty it is. You with your new ca camera stuff going that's on there. That's right. Uh -huh. I think I could go film. Uh, Is there going to be a, a movie in Arkansas soon? I can go be an uh, uh, assistant filmer. Filmer, that's right. Is it mock orange? Nope, not mock orange. Mock orange is going to have a little bit larger bloom to it. So what is the case? Is there water in the container? There is water in the container. There's water and foam. Water and foam. Oh, those anemones. Yeah. Someone asked, how do you know that the stems are actually going into the foam? I'm feeling it as I do it. I can feel the pressure. 
of that. Oh, y'all, look at those anemones. And actually, I probably should have put the anemones in first. I mean, not first, but before I did the other fillers, just so I could actually visually see it, because now I have to use touch to tell that it's in there. And that takes a little bit longer. Well, you're being timed. Just keep that I in know, mind. I know. I know. Is this tall delphinium or normal delphinium? This it's is actually large spur. Did I say delphinium? No, right. sir. Okay. So now we're going to go back and add just a few of these rosa lilies. Rosa lilies. Oh, rosa. We saw that one come out this way. No, that's why I don't take it back, you know, make sure it went to the right place. Oh, those rosa lilies are beautiful. So how will we deliver something like this? Very gently. Well, our yeah. uh, vans have... Yeah, we have... We have um, grids and stuff that sits right in there. And larger pieces like this, guys, we actually have learned you can actually set these inside of a bucket and then deliver the bucket in the grid. And that only works fairly well too. So anyway. Bobby said, beautiful first of April. Yeah. Well, good deal. Now we're going to run out the door, finish setting up the other part. Yep. I don't know. Are you going back down there? Yep. Oh, those anemones are just beautiful. We most certainly are. I'm going to take this one stem and put it right there. Everyone says it's beautiful. Oh, good. Someone said it looks like hybrid delphinium. We used a really, really pretty delphinium yesterday. Yeah, we did. It was beautiful. So last but not least, I'm just going to whip out a really quick wedding bouquet. Oh, are you doing the bouquet too? Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Look, mm -hmm. there's more, y'all. I thought he was done. Mm -hmm. I was zooming into everything. Yeah. So let's go ahead and peel those down. You know, the bridal bouquet they're picking up tomorrow. It's right. not being delivered. Okay. But one last thing on the list. Yep. And we can send a picture. We make sure it's okay. Or we could probably just deliver it when we deliver the candelabras, but yep. we can figure that, that out. That. That. Taking all those extra guard petals off. So, what kind of roses are these? Playa Blanco. Our go to rose. We use a little bit of Hellebaloris, except not for that one. There. A little bit of this beautiful wax flower. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. And then our white Lusianthus. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean this real quick. If not, I'll have to start and stop as I go. So it's faster to go ahead and have it all ready to go. Just like that. He's so fast. Time's money. Today, time is time. I was going to say, <laughs> time is to time do. today. We it were here until nothing, 7 last night. Yeah, it has nothing to do with money at this point. It is just about a time, right? So do you wire your roses? Nope. We do, don't wire any flowers except for Gerber daisies. That's pretty much it. Wouldn't you say? I think so. At least I've never wired any. Oh, well, yesterday we wired carrots. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, we, we need to do that one Monday. Yeah, let's do that. That did turn out really swell. I didn't leave the carrots here, though. I'll have to go get some carrots, but that's okay. Yeah, super fun. I mean, I really liked that idea. Yeah. And something for Easter that would be super fun. Yeah, People could do that at home. Too. Exactly. I thought it turned out really cute. Miss Teresa said when the rest of those lilies open, it will be even more beautiful. Yeah. And the Lusianthus, too. So this order called for a very free form, small clutch bouquet. So I'm going to make my base first with my Lusianthus. Miss Mary Sue said, I bet he's done this a time or two. <laughs> maybe. Yes, maybe he has. Someone said real carrots. Real, they were, uh, you wait, Monday. They were super cool. Yeah, 
You it was wait. a Pinterest picture, but I liked this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I love some new ideas. It was fun. Super duper Miss Laura fun. Ann is watching today. Is she in Texas? She's in Dallas, she said. She's in Dallas. You have to kind of go back and check this hell Dolores, though. Sometimes it can get kind of, you know, it's a really papery flower. Sometimes. Sometimes they don't hold up. Mm -mm. I had a client yesterday, you know, I that know, you usually do color like, She said it doesn't hold up for her as much anymore. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to switch out and not do that anymore, right? Miss Jen switched out with uh, right. tulips yesterday. Yeah. But those were really pretty um, hella Belores. I've never seen that brown color before. That mauve it was like almost like a chocolate color. I, it was. It was so pretty. Yeah, it was super pretty. So to me, it's always an honor to get to do something for someone that you've watched grow up, and they still want you to do something for them. That is very sweet. Yeah. I just hope she likes it. That's right. Well, we'll send a picture after this to make sure. Do we have a base for that? No, I want to recut it. I won't cut it before you get done. Okay. Well, what do y'all have planned this weekend? A lot of really fun things. Are you going to the wedding, Mr. Chris? No, it's it's for it's just for family, and that's all good. And we're and you have heart ball. We have heart ball. We do have heart ball. We do have heart ball. Oh, and you know how we thought that there were um, like columns where all the arrangements were. You tell me, yeah. That was just the holes in the ground where the electrical is. That's what that box on the... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought, man, that's a lot of columns. Well, you know when we did the inaugural ball down there, there were a lot of columns back to the back. Right. So, because I asked, I was like, now, did y'all move this up or what happened? Yeah. And she said, oh, no, that's the electrical boxes on the ground. I said, oh. Uh -huh, okay. So, I think we're good. Ooh, so Miss, how, how do we do on our time? We're good on our time. Let's see how long. Miss Joy said is a big game tomorrow night. She works at Duke, but she's a UNC fan. Mm. Ooh, she's got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, she does. Got to make some decisions who she's going to be cheering, cheering you know, for. Cheering for, exactly. That's right. So there's that. So I think we are done. What do you think? I think so. I think they're beautiful. All we'll right. send some pictures and get approval and – on to the next one. Check. On to the next. Only two more left. Everyone said, <laughs> are you sure only two? Well, weddings. Yep. Um, Miss Jill said it's a spectacular bouquet. Oh, good. That is beautiful. I do love that. It's just garden. Just what we do. Just what we do. Just what we do. Make it pretty. Just make it pretty. There you go. All right. We will see y'all on Monday. Y'all have a blessed and safe one. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, we really appreciate y'all being part of the Happy Family. And we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Bye.